Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to another video. Today, we're going to be looking at that brand new Wolverine Dark Moss from 900 Global. But before we do, uh, I just want to remind you guys that if you like today's video, please like the video. Uh, and then also, if you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below, um, that would really help me out. I'm trying for a goal of 1,000 subscribers. Currently, I'm at 857. And, um, you know, I've been stuck in that 840, 850 range for a couple of weeks here now. So if you could uh, do me a solid, help me get that number up, help me get to 1000, that would be greatly appreciated. I know that 80% of uh, my video viewers are not subscribed. So um, if you could, again, do me a solid, hit that subscription button, help me get to 1000 subscribers. I'd, I'd really, really, really appreciate it. So um, that's enough of me begging, <laughs> but, uh, we're going to get into, uh, kind of what's next after this dark moss. Uh, I, as I mentioned in my reality check video, I did just order the RSTX three and the hype solid. I did not order a hustle USA, uh, mostly because I have a couple of hustles already and, you know, arsenal wise, it just doesn't make sense for me to order another hustle. Um, I will also be ordering the Night Road when it becomes available in August. Um, so again, the RSTX3 and the Hype Solid, that's going to ship out uh, early next week. So I'd anticipate it to be here, um, not next week, but the following week. So uh, really looking forward to getting those two pieces in my hand. But uh, right now we're focused on the 900 pieces that I currently have in my hand. Um, but as always, thank you to, to Storm and I am bowling. Storm obviously put some great equipment in my hand and, um, you know, I'm forever grateful for them. And then, um, I am bowling. They gave me a, a, a fantastic, fantastic opportunity here and, um, uh, make a lot of these jerseys that you see I'm wearing here, especially this one. This one low key might be my favorite, but, um, if you want to, uh, get your hands on any of, any of the, uh, jerseys that I have, if not t-shirts, quarter zips, all that kind of stuff. You can use my promo code down here. It's going to be firehouse07. You can use that at checkout. Save yourself 20% off of your entire order. All right, that's all I got. Let's get into this 900 Global Wolverine Dark Moss. You guys stay tuned. All right, let's dive into the Wolverine Dark Moss here. Uh, layout on the Dark Moss is a 60 by 5 by 35. It's the same layout that I have on the Spectre. Um, you know, the, the Wolverine and the Spectre kind of came out at the same time. Wolverine was a little before the original Wolverine. Um, you know, and a lot of people said that the Wolverine and the Spectre played very, very similar, if not identical. Um, me, I didn't catch those, um, you know, I didn't catch the similarities there. I, I definitely had the Spectre a little quicker down lane, um, than the Wolverine, and I think, um, you know, both of them played fairly different for me. Uh, however, I did lay out this uh, Dark Moss the same as I had on my Spectre layout uh, because I, I'm definitely looking for something that can replace that Spectre for me. That was, um, you know, that was an incredible, incredible ball for me. And, um, I'm really missing it in the bag. However, um, you know, this Dark Moss, I think for me, is a little slower down lane. I think it's a little slower than what that Spectre is. Uh, doesn't doesn't necessarily it isn't quite comparable to the Spectre. However, I, I think it it can be used on the same sort of um, parameters and conditions as you would have used the Spectre. Uh, I think Lewis Naples said it best in his video where he said this is probably one of the best burn balls that are out on the market right now, and I completely agree. I think this ball is definitely going to be a ball that I certainly would pull out when you know obviously everything is is jumping left on me and i need something that's just going to sit there and um you know kind of be consistent with my pocket so uh, you know as you can see here i hope you guys can see it in the video the specter is a little quicker down lane gets through the pins maybe a smidge better um you know with a little bit more continuation however i'm not saying that the wolverine dark moss is bad by any means i certainly love it it's certainly going to take that specter spot in my bag uh, here, as you can see, that I have to run down for a lane breakdown. I'm not saying this isn't the reason why I didn't shoot 300 there, but a nice six bagger to start out, and then having to go down and fix a lane can really mess with your momentum. So uh, that's obviously one of the goals here is to uh, shoot 300 for you guys uh, during the ball review. Uh, however, it just won't be today. But uh, like I said, the Spectre is just a little quicker down lane, gets through the pins just a smidge better. But uh, as I was saying, this. Uh, 
this Wolverine Dark Moss I think is definitely going to come with me. It's going to, you know, be that uh, piece in the bag uh, that I'm going to switch to when uh, I need something that's going to be controllable down lane. So here you can see the a little bit more uh, of a versatility kind of test here. I'm gonna I moved I think for this shot for this for these couple shots here I moved eight boards left and probably moved about four boards left with my eyes I believe something like that. Um, you know as you can see there that ball actually got back a little better than what I thought it was going to. I thought it was a little flat off the back. And, uh, it did kind of bounce off that. Uh, dry outside so I was I was actually fairly impressed with this ball once I I really really had to slow my slow my speed down in order to get the ball to turn the corner but as you can see solid nine pin um, with this ball inside isn't bad so I think this ball is really going to benefit um, people with slower speeds uh, higher rev players I think um, you ladies especially should be looking at this ball because um, you know I, I think this ball is really going to fit the ladies uh, very 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 well so um, Wolverine Dark Moss is, is going to be great, especially for two-handers as well, two-handers and, um, you know, the higher rev players as well. I think this ball is really going to suit you um, very well. So, a couple more shots here with the Dark Moss. I'm really inside, unfortunately. Um, I didn't quite get a shot uh, lofting, I shouldn't say lofting the gutter, but in front of the ball return. But uh, Dark Moss looks good. All right. So we saw the Wolverine Dark Moss head down the lanes. Uh, honestly looked pretty good. Honestly looked fairly identical to the uh, original Wolverine. Um, you know, pretty much all the specs are the same from the original Wolverine to the Dark Moss. Uh, really the only difference is the fact that it's a 4K fast finish instead of, um, I forget what it was, 1500 grip polish or whatever the case is. but. Um, so the out-of-box surface is different, but the, I believe the, the surface is the same. Obviously, the core is the same, so uh, pretty much an identical ball, uh, just that out-of-box finish. Um, you know, and again, characteristics, I thought, were, were fairly similar, similar to that uh, original Wolverine. Um, it's smooth, pretty slow down lane. It, you know, it's not a ball that's going to jump left on you, I don't think. Um, Again, Lewis Naples called it. Uh, it's it's a great burn ball. It's going to be a ball definitely that you can play in the track with, and it's not going to overreact when you find a lot of friction. So um, I think it's going to be perfect for that. I certainly will have one in my bag when I travel everywhere. Um, you know, and I think it's going to be best for sort of the high rev um, and slower speed players. Um, you know, it's definitely it's going to be a control piece. It's going to be a control piece for everybody. So. Um, I think the Wolverine Dark Moss is going to be a great fit in your bag, um, especially if you're, again, looking for a burn ball or you're a higher rev, slower speed player. So, um, again, I think the slower speed just gives it a little bit more time to kind of set up. And obviously, when you're higher rev, um, you have stuff that um, you want to set up like that as well. So, um, and obviously, something that's not going to jump left on you. So, um, I think, uh, again, this ball is going to be a wonderful addition to your arsenal. So again, I just want to thank you guys for watching again. If you could please, uh, subscribe to the channel, that would be absolutely wonderful. Um, and we will see in the next one, which I'm hoping should be the Rotogrip RST X3. Again, that'll ship out probably, uh, next week. And then I should have it probably, I'm hoping by the week after. So the next one's going to be the RSTX3 if everything goes according to plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next time, good luck and good bowling.